Okay, Olaf Alexander, congratulations uh, to your effort, to your team effort. It's it always takes two, it says, but uh, today it take it, it took about 10, 11, 12 people. How are you feeling now? Uh, absolutely fantastic. I think exactly like you said, this is a this is a team effort, and I think one of the things that was important for us at the end of the race also is actually to bring up all the people that are, that has been here and helped us make this uh, possible. So for me now, it's. Uh, That's what I'm going to remember, all the effort that all the other people have put into this for us. You're very well known because you're a fan of numbers and statistics and uh, um, some um, estimates. Uh, how does it feel that all the numbers came reality? Well, statistics are there to be broken, so uh, that's, the, that's the fun part with it. But uh, no, of course, uh, this is a first. So we came into it, we have no experience. We had St. George in the legs, and of course we're trying to do as much as possible leading into this. But uh, there were also parts of the race today we, we knew was going to be unpredictable because we, have, we, didn't, we hadn't time to basically do the whole thing together with the team before this. So, uh, but all in all, I would say not too far from what we expected. Um, with a little bit more time, it can absolutely go much faster. That means you learned a lot today. That, and that's actually maybe the biggest takeaway from a scientific perspective. It's exactly all the things that we tried to estimate, the things that went the way we thought, and all the, but especially the things that didn't go exactly as we thought, that we are learning from, okay, how fast can we change something? Yeah. So we all know that um, Christian is going to win Hawaii. He wants to win Hawaii, yeah. Maybe he, he can do. Um, but you learned how fast he can go. But you also said uh, that there will be uh, preparation for the uh, Paris Games. So is there any chance to see him on a real, usual long course triathlon to, to see what's possible there? Uh, I think for Kona, of course, we have the... We, for a Kona race, or for, it's of course different. Also, well, all Ironman races are different because it's different courses and so. And I don't think we will be able to have the time to really go, take out the full potential. But uh, we already saw, of course, in St. George, we went 749, which is a more brutal course than Kona. Uh, and it went two minutes faster than the world, uh, let's say the fastest time that has been recorded at Kona. So, of course, I think it will be even faster at Kona. Uh, but going for like taking out the full potential, we are still noobs. We, this is our let's say third Ironman race for, for Christian uh, and um, we're learning every every Ironman we're doing and Kona is going to be a new new experience again. Well as a noob you very well understand how to set the benchmark will others uh, other athletes follow? Uh, of course I think this is always in all sports when somebody goes faster everybody's trying to of course understand what they can do to go faster they maybe they even believe that's okay maybe it's possible to even go faster so it's both the it's both the physiological part of it the psychological part of it and surely people will get faster and of course that's what we also see now people are starting to go faster and that's of course a lot of fun because we want it to be competitive we will see how fast it can uh, get thank you very much Olaf Alexander thank you so much.